Hey guys, so uh, this Boston, I guess Boston, <laughs> this April I'm traveling to Boston <laughs> and unfortunately um, because flights to Boston are not reasonable in April, um, I will be traveling without David uh, and traveling alone in an airport is unfortunately confusing and not always easy. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I do in order to make traveling a little bit less stressful. Uh, so for me, the first thing that I do uh, whenever I am going to be taking a trip uh, is I make sure, you know, I start making a list of all the things I need like two weeks before I have to leave. Uh, so right now I'm working on um, getting everything packed. Uh, so get everything packed in advance and make sure to check your checklist so you don't accidentally forget anything. Take the checklist with you so you don't forget anything when you're leaving at the hotel. That's a really good tip too. Um, the other thing that I strongly, strongly recommend uh, depending on your airport, uh, if you are flying out of a major city hub, um, I will be arriving for my flight at least two hours early. Um, if you're in a smaller airport, you may not need to do this, but arrive early with plenty of time uh, to get to your flight, figure out where you're going, get through security. Um, I always find that Airports are kind of confusing and a little bit overwhelming, and I am not the best at navigating places that are unfamiliar, uh, so I tend to always kind of be turned around uh, and a bit confused looking in the airport, and that's always unfortunate because security seems to always think I'm like up to something and really I'm just like where did I go what what did you say something I couldn't understand you I can't because it's like I can't process what the security people are saying because the airport's so loud and it's so echoey and it's so big and there's just so much going on and security always gives me a hassle so to make security easier um suggestions would be if you have a laptop go ahead and take your laptop out of your bag before you get to the security gate um, wear shoes that are easy to remove and um, put back on to go through airport security because they're gonna make you take your shoes off um, and wear like try to avoid clothes like metal on your clothes anywhere anything that might set off the detector uh, and Try to wear clothes that are, you know, like this probably wouldn't be the best shirt. I probably would wear something that was a little bit tighter fitting uh, that just like shows like I don't have anything hidden in my clothes. Just not giving the TSA people any reason to bother you. Um, and definitely like I, I flew to Chicago last April and it was cold and I wore my big lace up winter boots. Uh, and I'm glad I had them in Chicago, but it was a really big pain in the butt in the airport. So, um, metal lace-up boots, nah, not so much. Uh, shoosh, the other thing. Oh, if possible, book a direct flight. Because I always get turned around and lost and confused in airports, I really don't need the added pressure of having to change planes in a strange airport I've never been to on a time crunch to get to the next airplane. Um, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog or Mario when they're like underwater and it's like ding 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 you're gonna drown you're gonna drown get to the gate get to the gate no I don't need that in my life when I'm trying to travel um, so Whenever possible, if you can book a direct flight or a flight that maybe does have a stop, like a layover, but there's no plane change, uh, that just would be a really big tip there. Um, uh, the other thing, this is kind of specific to my region, but I like Southwest Airlines. Um, out of the airlines I've flown, um, they just have been the best to deal with. Uh, customer service is pretty great. And I like that um, 
if I, you know, get there and get, get on the plane, it's first come first serve seating and I can, I, I have, I don't usually have trouble getting the window seat and it's just my, my favorite airline so far. I haven't flown on a lot of airlines just to clarify that, um, pretty much all of my flights that I've ever taken have been for work. Um, even the pleasure flights were with work, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. Um, but traveling for work with my teammates and coworkers has really uh, let me learn from seasoned travel professionals how I can make my own travel a bit easier. Uh, so guys, these are just a few of the things I will be doing uh, in order to get myself from Austin to Baltimore safely and hopefully without much difficulty. Uh, do you have travel tips? I'd love to hear them. Um, oh, earplugs, that's another one. Oh my gosh, there's more. Give me your tips in, in the comments below because I've got this trip coming and it's I'm travel just the travel part getting there and getting back their flights the airport that really makes me nervous um, so I'd love any suggestions <laughs> thank you guys so much I will talk to you next week have a good one <laughs> bye